Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we have another new themed Switch OLED coming out and an update to the PS5 adds a much requested resolution. We have those topics and more to cover, but before we get started, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so we can keep you up to date with gaming news. Now let's get started. First, we have this announcement coming from the official Nintendo of America Twitter account. Have a peek at the Nintendo Switch OLED model Pokemon Scarlet Violet Edition system arriving on November 4th. And the design on this is pretty neat and it might be something you're interested in picking up if you hadn't just bought the Splatoon one. But it does feature legendary Pokemon on it, it comes with the dock and the two Joy-Cons and it still retails for 360 in the US and of course it does not come with Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. And it seems like this is maybe an attempt from Nintendo just to try to boost some of the sales of the Switch OLED going into the holiday season. And seeing this second announced themed Nintendo Switch OLED in just the same amount of months leads me to believe we definitely aren't going to see like a Switch Pro or 4K anytime before the holiday season. But let me know in the comments if this is something you're interested or if you're just continuing like me to hold out maybe for a 4K or Pro model. Next, we have an update for the PS5 and it brings a much requested feature. The announcement here from blog.playstation.com says, new PlayStation 5 system software update is out globally today. 1440p support, game lists, and new social features roll out to all PS5 players. Now a lot of people have been looking for a 1440p resolution because a lot of monitors support that natively. And in the blog post it says, thanks to the support and feedback from our PS5 beta participants, today we're rolling out a new system software update to PS5 players globally. The update includes several highly requested features like 1440p HDMI video output and game lists, as well as social features like the ability to request a share screen from a fellow party member, easily view new friends profiles, and receive a notification to help you join a friend's game more quickly from a party chat. So these are definitely some good features to be added to the system, but like I said, I think most people are going to be focused in on that 1440p support. And they released a video kind of showing you how that resolution compares to 1080p versus 4K. And as you can see, it's between the two resolutions, a little closer to the 1080p side. So if you had a 1440p native resolution monitor and a PS5 you're using it with, you should see an improvement in the video quality. And then finally, we've talked about this leaked and rumored Elite Wireless Controller Series 2 that has like a white faceplate on it. Well, Microsoft finally officially announced it after we've seen like leaked screenshots of it being stored in a warehouse as well as like someone completely unboxing it. And unfortunately, it's not just a change in the color. Over on news.xbox.com, they have this comparison between the two, the original black one, and now this white one that they're calling the core model. And as you can see on the left-hand side, the all black original one has a whole bunch of accessories. And the new one on the right, not so much. And the way they describe this core model is experience adjustable tension thumbsticks, wraparound rubberized grip, shorter hair trigger locks, and button mapping options in the Xbox accessory app, which I believe that's just profiles that are stored on the controller. So you don't get any of these extra components that like you see here, they're selling these separately. And the core controller is cheaper than the original one at $130, whereas the original Elite Series 2 with all the accessories was $180. But if you want to get all the complete component pack, that's going to be an additional $60. So just to compare, the original Elite 2 controller was $180 with all the accessories. 
And if you want the new white one with all the same accessories, you'll end up having to pay $190, which is going to be $10 more. So while I think it's good that they give you the option of not having to get all these accessories and being able to save money, if you want anything like the back paddles, you're going to have to pay an additional $60 to get those, and then you'll end up paying $10 more total. And I haven't seen anything whether or not this Series 2 Core is designed any differently. I have a feeling it's just a new skin with less accessories in order to try to hit a different market. And that's all we have for today. Did anything we cover catch your attention? Do you think we'll end up seeing more themed Switch OLEDs before we finally see a Switch 4K or Switch Pro, whatever it ends up being called? And are you interested in a cheaper version of the Elite Wireless Controller Series 2 that doesn't have the back paddles or the charging dock or any of the extended thumbsticks? Drop a comment about those topics or anything else we covered today. I want to thank you for watching and be good.